Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about cross filtering in Power BI. So what is cross filtering? Let us say I have uh, three data sets or three tables. So when I change something, let us say three data sets is nothing but three visualization objects in the Power BI page. So three slicers are there, for example. So when I select something in one slicer, it should reflect in the other slicers as well. That is nothing but a cross filtering. And we need to talk about cross filtering directions here. So cross filtering directions are single and both. Let us say forward direction as well as both the directions. So when I select in one slicer, it is reflecting in the second slicer. That's the one direction. If you select in the second slicer, it also reflecting in the first slicer. It means nothing but a both the directions. Let me show you how to work with a cross filtering in Power BI. Practically. Here I will be taking uh, for uh, data. I might need more data for that purpose. I will be using AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012. In that I will be taking three tables DIM product dim product category dim product subcategory these three tables i am planning to use for my example to show you in the cross filtering so if you see these are all the tables i am planning to take dim product dim product category dim product subcategory so i am planning to load these three let me load these three tables in the power bi window first get data sql server and this is a common as usual you need to give server name as dot slash sql2012 my server name if your server name is different you can give that name let's click on ok once you click on ok it will show you the list of databases which are available in your uh, server and select those tables what is required for you so I am planning to take these three tables and you can see in the right side the sample data of those tables. So once you select the list of tables you required, let's click on load. And let me take some fact table as well. So fact reseller sales or fact internet sales either whatever the table. Let's click on OK load. So once you click on load, it may take a while to load that into your uh, in memory to the Power BI. Yeah, so it has been loaded. If you see, so those four data set has been created. So let me go to the relationships in the left side of the Power BI. <coughs> let me click on the relations. Yeah, if you see this, so this is how the relations has been created. Now if you see, yeah. So if you click on this, so it will show you what are all the uh, keys which are been linked between these two tables. You can see it. <coughs> this is how. Okay. So these are all we already talked about in the previous video. How to enable or how to establish a relationship between the tables and all. We already talked about. So these are all the uh, relations. We already have a relations in between the tables. So nothing to worry in the relations side now. So if there is no relation, then cross filtering won't work at all. So that's the reason why relationships are more important for the cross filtering even now let me go to the design part page part so let me take some visualizations let me take a slicer one so this is my slicer one for this i am planning to take dim product category okay so anyway that is fine so i already got this so this is the one. Let me increase the font size of it first. And let me now let me go to the another uh, dim product and let me select the English product. So this is one more slicer for me. It automatically gives you the slicer. Then let me go to the let let me increase the font size for those two first. Then I'll go for third. Okay, select this and go to the styles. And here, column header is um, you can increase it. 
So by default, you will get some eight or nine size with the CGO UI. Let me change it to some 14. And uh, this is data, where is data? Yeah, let's click on grid header. Now values. So let me change it to this is um, 14. Yeah, so that's okay. Even I can make it some little bigger, 17. Yeah, it's okay. Now let's come to this slicer. So let's come here. Values. 17 so that uh, I can see all the values. Let me increase it a little bigger. Yeah, that's fine. And let me change them. Select this and let me change the value property of the header so that I can easily see. Okay, so now I can see this. So let me change, let me make it as a little bigger. This okay, so now if you see this now, <clears throat> so these are our uh, cross filtering is applying or not. Let me see. So let me select bikes. If I select bikes, I can see only the bikes related uh, product names here. Okay, so if I select clothing, so is that is reflecting or not? Yes, it is getting reflected when I select the clothing here. Now let me clean this. Let me clear the selection. So let me select this. Is this getting uh, applied or not back? No. So when I select this one, it is not going back. It is not uh, remotely applying. So cross filtering is not happening. Means what I need to do is I may need to change the settings or let me go for a slicer only. So let me select the slicer for this and let me show you the example with slicer. Now, so this is also let me remove this and let me select the slicer for this so that uh, cross filtering works very fine and it's very easy to explain even for me. Let me select English product. So let me again, I need to change some styles for this so that. Uh, 14. Okay, here it is. Uh, let me make it as uh, 14. So header, if you want, I can make it as a little uh, uh, 13. So here also some 13 or 14, whatever it is. Now, let me select accessories here. It automatically comes here. Let me select uh, clear selection. There is a button here, clear selection. Let me click here this. Let me minimize this so that I can get a big picture. Yeah. Minimize this. Right. So now let me select a uh, blade here and chain. Yeah. So here, whenever I select this one, it is not getting impacted in the first uh, slicer. It means that cross filtering is not working. So means it is working in a single filter only. When I select this side, it automatically reflecting in the uh, second slicer. But when I select something in the second slicer, it is not getting impacted in the first slicer. Means cross filtering is not working. And how to enable the cross filtering? So let me do this. Let me go to the manage relationships. So there I need to enable a cross filtering if it is not there. Let me select this and click on edit. So what is the cross filtering direction? It is a single. Let's go to the both. Click on OK. And let's enable the cross filter direction for all the controls. Let me edit this as well. Then OK and close. So now let's select the accessories. You will be getting the respective accessories only. Let me click on uh, clear selection and let me select this. Yes, you will be getting the respective change. You will be having the you will be getting the respective change in the first uh, slicer. Let me select this. It is a clothing. Let me select this. This is uh, also clothing. Is also cloth blank. So this does not have any product. It seems that's the reason why it is coming as blank. Let me go for this. This is also blank. This is a clothing and all. So based on the selection, 
it automatically impacts in the first slicer so this is how my class filter is going to work so if you take one more slicer here in the in this side let me keep the one more slicer here this is one more slicer i'm planning to keep here so here let me take as an english sub product category name let me select this So even let me change the styles for this. I made it as 14 for easy understanding. Let me minimize both fields and visualization. So let me clear it first. If you see all the uh, stuff I have in my page now. So let me select something in the bikes here. It is reflecting second slicer as well as third slicer. So let me select clothing. It me it is impacting second and third as well. Let me clear this everything. So let me select something in the third slicer cleaners. If you see here, it has been affected second slicer as well as the first slicer. It means that the cross filtering is working here. Cross filtering is nothing but so bidirectional between the slicers, bidirectional between the visualizations in the Power BI page. So this is how my cross filtering is going to work in the Power BI window. That's it. So in the last video, we already talked about managed relationships. So thank you for watching. If you have any question on the Power BI, please comment your question in the comment section. I'll try to answer. Or please write a mail to training to SQL at the rate gmail.com. I'll try to answer. So thank you for watching.